All right, so let's take a look at some examples with salts. So identify whether these salts are acidic, basic, or neutral um, using the information given. Um, so you wanna go ahead and pause the video and figure that out. All right, so hopefully you pause the video. Let's take a look at these examples. So first we have calcium nitrate. And so the calcium is a group two uh, metal. And so it is not acidic or anything. This is neutral. And then we have nitrate. This is the conjugate base of nitric acid, which is a strong acid. So we can't do the reverse reaction. So we're neutral here. So two neutrals overall make a neutral salt. Next up, we have potassium nitrite. Uh, so potassium itself is a group one metal, so it is neutral. And then nitrite is the conjugate base of nitrous acid, which is a weak acid, which makes this a weak base. So this part is basic. And so neutral plus basic is overall basic. Next up, we have aluminum nitrate. So aluminum is one of our charged metal cations that is indeed acidic. And then nitrate is the conjugate base of nitric acid, which is a strong acid. So it itself is neutral. And so overall, we are acidic. Next up, we have iron three fluoride. Iron is one of our charged metal cations that can indeed be acidic. Fluoride F minus is the conjugate base of HF, which is a weak acid. And so this indeed can be basic. And so now we need to think about which one of these is stronger. So let's take a look at some of the information we given. So we have this iron three plus, we are told that it's pKa is 2.2. And then we have this F minus. We're not given the pKb of F minus, but we're given the pKa of its conjugate base. And we know those two have to add up to be 14. So if the pKa is 3.1, the pKb must be 10.9. In this case, uh, with the P's, the smaller number means stronger. So the iron is more acidic than the fluoride is basic. And so overall, we are acidic. Next up, we have calcium. Calcium is a uh, group two metal. So it itself by itself is neutral. Next up, we have this acetate ion. And so um, this is the conjugate base of acetic acid. Uh, so right here, and so it's the conjugate base, so it will, and, and acetic acid is a weak acid, as we can see there, so this will indeed be basic, which makes this overall compound basic. Next up, we have KBr, potassium is a group one, so it's neutral. Br, bromide, is the conjugate base of HBr, which is a strong acid, so this itself is neutral. And so overall, we're neutral. Next up, we have aluminum acetate. So aluminum is one of our charged metals that is acidic, right? Just aluminum three plus and iron three plus. Next up, we have acetate, the conjugate base of acetic acid. And so this can indeed be basic. And so now we've got to figure out the numbers here. So from this aluminum, Let's pick a different color here. Uh, this aluminum, right, we're given the pKa of aluminum is five. And then here's the acetate. Here it's acting as a base. We're given its pKa of its conjugate acid is 4.75. We know those two have to sum to be uh, 14. And so this that means that this pKb is equal to see the math here, uh, 9.25, right? The pKa is lower than the pKb, lower means stronger. So in this case, this is acidic. Next up, we have sodium chloride. Sodium is group one, so it's neutral. Chloride conjugate base of a strong acid, so it itself is neutral. And then over here, we have ammonium fluoride. Ammonium is a weak or a conjugate base 
conjugate acid of a weak base. You can see down here, we are given NH3's pKb, but now we're talking about the conjugate acid. They have to sum to be 14. So this pKa here will uh, be, let's see, it's 9.3, right? It's gonna be acidic. We have a protonated amine. And then we have fluoride, right? That's the conjugate base of hydrofluoric acid. So we can calculate its pKb from the data given below to get, uh, let's see, 10.9. And so in this case, uh, the acid is stronger than the base. So overall, it is acidic, right? So just be able to do this kind of thing where you're identifying whether a salt is acidic or basic uh, based on given information and your knowledge.